isn't life in itself a quest with no end and no reward? Welcome back to the Road to Zuck on a Hard Cry Iron Man. In the last video, among many other things, we unlocked the elven city of Priftinus. And the reason we did this was so that we could use cleansing crystals to train prayer. I've got an absolute ton of money, so this is the easiest, most lossless way to get all the way to level 95. But in order to activate ancient curses, well, you also need to complete the temple at Senestin quest, so we're gonna start with that today. In addition to that, before we get to Zuck, we've got a couple things that are gonna help us quite a bit. One of those things is the invention skill, and the other is obsidian armor. Obsidian armor is extremely strong, especially if you donate Tockle at the coffer outside of the fight cauldron. In doing so, you can get an absolute ton of damage reduction, and with those three things, in this video, we're gonna take a run at our very first attempt at a Zuck cape. Now, there's an elephant in the room that we need to address, which is Insight, Fear, and Animate Dead. Both are extremely good, and both would help immensely in our pursuit of a Zuck Cape. Here's the problem. The city of Sanison requires 74 archaeology, and I've fallen pretty far behind. While we're going to continue working on archaeology in this video, I want to take a run at this without. If we can get it done, even better. And if not, it's going to feel all the more rewarding to grind out those arc levels and then try it again. Quick update on the account. I am level 90 prayer. We have been full sending prayer. I was AFKing it on mobile yesterday. My nights have been nothing but prayer. I think it's sitting we're level 90. I thought today we could unlock ancient curses. I thought that might be a good thing to do because we're still 3 million XP off 95, which is like 10 or 11 hours of AFKing. I feel like 11 hours is like pretty striking distance. So I, I thought it would be a bad idea to get the, uh, get the questing in. Wait, that's 250k per air XP? I know it took our life, like this area right here. Oh, but dang, dude, that was nuts. And then the ancient lamp I can't do anything with, right? Bro, there isn't another skill that I care to train at this point. We'll save it for arc, maybe. You're trying to finish with Soa before GF goes into labor? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So on the iron before GF goes into labor. Done 100 of these the last few days. GF is due today. What will happen first? I get an iron for Soa, two out of three ATM, or GF gives birth. Okay, here's what you do. Fire up the RS mobile in the delivery room. That's the only way you're gonna win this. Okay, that's Devious Minds quest complete. And 76 mything to four levels now until uh, invention. Next quest is Curse of a Rough. And then after this quest, we get to do Temple of Senison. That is the Curse of a Rough quest complete. Time to do Temple of Senison. Dude, I love the DFS charge up animation. Is it cool? Dude, look at it. It's chonky. Temple at Senison. Let's get it. Ooh, that is a battered letter, bro. That is the Temple at Senison quest complete. That's actually so sick. Why not? We're now level 77. And then XP lamp. I'm actually gonna put that in arc. 23k XP at this level is more useful to me. And that's level 62. I'm gonna switch on to curses now. So here's the deal. We are 93 and a half prayer. 93 and a quarter, really, if we're using our eyes, fair enough. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll have 95. I'm 1.4 million XP off. I also unlocked soul split last night. We're gonna put on soul split for the first time. In three, in two, in one. Pretty cool. Yeah, no, I, I, that's a really big one. I mean, turmoil is the more important one, but soul split for like casual stuff is just disgustingly good, right? Did I win? Tw wait, 28 salvage? Two mil? Yo, I'm rich. That is 97 magic coming in and 129 combat as well. Wait, we're actually, we're getting up there, man. Have I started the hammer drop? <laughs> I made my heart do a thing. Oh my goodness. We like a good safe death. At least I've got a thumbnail now. Alrighty, that is the end of the double reaper that took like an hour and 45 minutes. We made lots of money and more importantly, we made lots of friends. Ryan enjoys punishing himself by doing something more time consuming. Have you ever considered, Callus, that I am milking the patriarch for content? That's not actually what I'm doing. I want to get out of here. I'm not having fun. Okay, how many overloads do I have? 36. Great, good enough. We're not going to run out for a day or two. Necronium Matic. Yeah, no, we got to get the ball rolling on Ark because if we never do Ark, we are never going to get Animate Dead. And that's arguably the last thing we need before I can go to Zuck. So that's what they should do. I'm so stupid. My IQ is like actually zero. This thing's level 70, which I am not for later. We were just prepping for later. Speaking of prepping for later, the sponsor of today's video, 
HelloFresh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Technically, they're paying me to sit at my desk and tell you about their product, but I can do a little better than that. I've been using HelloFresh for over two years, and I figured it'd be easier for me to get the point across if I made dinner instead and show you why I've been a fan of them for years, because a delicious, affordable meal is so much easier to make than you might think. HelloFresh delivers pre-portioned ingredients with custom recipes straight to your doorstep. The recipes are healthy, fresh, delicious, and even more importantly, I find they take less time to make than ordering in, while being better for me and more affordable. Because everything is pre-portioned, there's also zero food waste, which is a huge deal if you want a single potato for a recipe and end up stuck buying a bag of 20. The recipes they give you are super easy to follow, so even if you're not the most experienced cook, you'll be able to make them. These flatbreads were absolutely delicious, and I whipped them up myself, prep work and everything, in less than 25 minutes. HelloFresh is a service I genuinely really like, and I've been using them since well before they became a partner of the channel. And if you're someone that likes to supplement your regular meals with snacks, sides, desserts, or anything of the like, you can also check out HelloFresh Market. You can throw whatever add-ons you like into your regular order, and they'll show up at your door with your regular HelloFresh box. If you're interested in trying out HelloFresh, you can get an absolutely massive discount by following the link in the description down below or the pinned comment. And now, with that said, we've got a video to get back to. Bro, are you taking pictures of my... He looks so happy though. Just look at him. That is level 63 archaeology coming in. Three levels until the mobile relic and 11 levels until anime dead. That's actually not that bad. And then... He's got it! We're gaming. That's how I feel right now. Yeah, so we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to use my brain for all four of these puzzles. Am I really gonna have to do this myself? I think I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay, that was nuts. Okay, two for four, two for four. This one works with the guide. Although to be fair, I did have a lot of fun not using it. So I'm kind of glad we did the first two in, in full manual. And the vault is open. Oh yeah, and then this is where we get the engrameter thing, right? Yeah, I think so. So that's the Vault of Shadows mini quest complete. We didn't get a pop-up though, which is weird. That is 91 Herbie coming in. Nah, bad, not bad, not bad. I found him. Game <clears throat> All right, I'm getting better. I'm totally getting better. Um, Wait, Paul Vanich teleport? The next penguin is in Paul Vanich. We're gaming. I've never gamed so hard in my life. That is 66 archeology. span Penguins are so gross. 66 arc done also means that we can get the mobile relic. I'm 800 XP off level. <laughs> and that is 67 archaeology. The secrets of the Inquisition. 67 archaeology, which we have. Bro, that's so many pages. Nah. Can I be banned so I can see how to submit an unbanned form? Bro, say less. Bonk. Do I have a favorite quest? That's a great question. But isn't life in itself a quest with no end and no reward? Life is like one small favor, but you die at the end. All righty, that is as an address quest complete. Good chunk of arc XP. And we can also, we can upgrade our Pontifex ring. Oh, I got a trove. Did I just unlock the ability to get troves now? I guess I did because the quest, oh, that's cool. Also chat, I've got two meta geodes and we're gonna open them right now. Ready, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I already have one. That's the most crazy part about that. That's my second Dragon Kite Shield. <laughs> yeah, we can always hit the drop tables when it's something completely useless. The race is over. Any guess on what happened first? An Iron Fasoa or Fatherhood? Surely you're not pogging for the Fasoa. It has to be Fatherhood. You came in a chat excited like, you're not gonna believe it, my wife is still in labor. <laughs> Wouldn't be watching the streams if I just became a father. It's time, finally. I say finally, you guys didn't have to watch any of this, but it's time for 80 smithing and unlocking the invention skill, which means we can now do the brick of extinction, which gets me obsidian armor, which is very important. Should help us quite a bit for our Zuck run. Okay, there we go, nice. Can't wait till I unlock ancient invention. Yeah, that's like what, 95 arc? Dude, arc is gonna kill me. <laughs> Woo, guys, we're level 10 in everything. That's super sick. Oh, that's level 12 image. Wait, look at the XP on this. Okay, yeah, this is really good. Eight XP per is actually filthy. Okay, so the plan is to get to level 30 and go P2E2. We need 30 invention, new goal. <laughs> How much monolith power does it take? Only 50. Okay, we're good because I only have 50 monolith power because 
I am not even an associate yet. I am 71 archaeology and I don't even have a research team. <laughs> I am an embarrassment. <laughs> Wait, I realize there's a slight problem here. I don't, I don't have a research team. I don't think I can study. Okay, what's the easiest way to get the qualification? I need to restore three artifacts and complete one collection log. Right here, use the voice. Okay, that's my first collection log complete. Check qualifications. I feel shame that I'm only getting this now at level 71. Alrighty, I'm an assistant. Pog. No, I don't want to send off the default research. I want to do... I want to do this research specifically so that I can continue with the mission. <laughs> Your familiar cannot enter the arena. Okay, well, give me some juice then. Wait, it died? Wait, my bruise! Bro, there is a big difference between your familiar can't come with you and we're going to despawn your familiar. Okay, we are now Tizar, tall and manly. Okay, so now I need to recharge my Tuckles out. And we're getting closer and closer to Zuck. I'm super excited. Okay, 10 million coins later. And I'm now an unkillable Chad. There we go. Wow, a PR, 428. Not bad at all. Did I win? Oh, actually, I feel pretty good about that. 11 Breeze is, is pretty good. All right, there we go. A full set of absolutely beautiful obsidian armor. Pog. Bro, I need a thousand chronotes. Oh, we're good. Font of Life and Shadow's Grace. That's actually huge. How much talk are we at? 62k, not bad. Ooh, that is 98 magic coming in though. Wait, that's actually really, really helpful. Good stuff. 74k talk, cool. Yeah, we're pretty close. I think it's 15k per donation, plus 50k to repair the ring. So I need, I need 95k total. That is level 92 HP coming in. Honestly, I am happy with as many life points I could possibly get for this. There's one final preparation we need to make before it's time to take on Zack, and that's to amass 100,000 Tockel. The first 50,000 will be to repair the Tockel Zo ring. It's a ring that when charged up and equipped will give you 10% extra damage, which we're gonna need. The second 50,000 Tockel will be donated outside of the Fight Cauldron in order to give myself an additional 10% damage reduction. Even though I'm going to be wearing a Ring of Life for the vast majority of the fight kiln, the Tockle Zoe is extremely important because I'm not terribly worried about the Zuck waves. I've done them many times before, and as long as you lure everything correctly, it should be a cakewalk. And I'm also not too worried about the main mechanics of Zuck either. He doesn't hit all that hard, and I've fought Zuck many, many times. But there's one part of the fight that I am absolutely terrified of, and we're going to call it pizza time. During this part of the fight, three igneous mobs will spawn one at a time. You have to kill all three of them before Zuck, who is unattackable in the center of the room, charges up a bomb. If you cannot kill all three igneous mobs before the bomb charges up, it's an instant kill. And it's not like most instances in the game where it just procs your sign of life. This is a hard instant kill. And if I have not killed the mob in time, or I do not click my teleport in time if I'm going to fail, what's going to happen is I'm going to lose my second life. With my current setup, I think it's gonna be extremely close. If my rotation is absolutely perfect, it should be winnable. I have no idea if it's consistent, but on paper, this setup should work. But if it doesn't, and things go even slightly wrong, it's gonna be catastrophic. I feel like I'm either gonna no food this whole thing, or I'm gonna run out of food by like wave seven. There are no, there's no in between. Yeah, if it takes, as long as it takes under an hour, we're good. At 58 minutes on the timer, I lose all my HP boosts and I lose my overcharged gear. So the Ring of Life is the only thing that saves you from a disconnect on a hardcore. So you camp the Ring of Life. We're only going to put on the other ring when we need damage output. So far, a couple waves in. I have not used any food and I have not used any prayer either. And once again, it doesn't need to be flawless, right? I'm allowed to Cade stuff and I'm allowed to Immort stuff too. Wait, it's actually close. I'm not going to get it though. That was close, though. Not bad. Yeah, this is perfect. Wait, what the f- Shut the f- Kate, Kate didn't work. Did I Devo instead of Kating? No, I, I thought I Devoed earlier. <laughs> okay, we try again. Okay, this has been way better. I think going faster is better. I think all the time I can save here is going to be extremely beneficial later on. Did I get it? Are you kidding me? I missed it by 800 life plates. <laughs> That's sad. That means I can get it though. It was close. It's pretty good. Oh, 
Oh sh You have failed. Maybe you just can't cade it. Wait. <laughs> I think you just can't cade there. Well, that's good to know. Whoo, party's on. I can't hit. I got it. Okay. There is no way I can kill this guy. I don't think, right? Yeah, no, there's no way I can hit over 3Ks with 20,000 damage. So I'm just going to hope that it blows up and doesn't take all my life points when it does that. And then where do I go again? I think the jet spawns here, so I need to stand up there if I remember correctly. How bad? Oh, only 2K. Nice. All right, we're looking okay. I mean, this is going to be really, really spooky if we get it, but I, I think we're doing okay so far. Yeah, no, I really like the positioning aspect of doing this fight in a low-level setup. I'm, I'm going to tank a jet for prayer. And another. Because I'm going to need like at least three or four restore flasks for Zuck. Also, we have to two cycle the next challenge as well. We have to, which is another huge time loss. But we have to because we need Cade for the challenge itself or we die. And does my Cade last long enough? Uh, my Cade lasts nine seconds. So I can res one of the hits and Cade the other ones. I'll be fine. I could also do a Devo and Prey Flicking, but I think I'd rather Cade it. It feels safer to me. Or do they have like global range? What in the world? They're friggin' far casting me, bro. Do Cryptloom animate death strat? Yeah, if we fail this, we're going to go back with Cryptloom. I think, because they would hit zeros with animate dead. Are you freaking kidding me? Wait, that's so, that's so messed up. Are you kidding me? No, that actually, that might have just ruined the whole run. That's actually garbage. Dude, I should have got precise one. Precise one literally would have done it. That's so bad. I am going to actually lose it if, if we lose this run because my all my HP boost ran out and I have to teleport. Bro, what is the attack range on that guy? That's legitimately insane to me. Look at it. I mean, either way, this is a, as a proof of concept, this is winnable. We very clearly can get this with the right, with the right everything, right? If I can three cycle this, we're good. It doesn't need to be a two cycle. Just need to watch out. We are going to get dive bombed in a second. It is going to take most of my life points. Move. Yeah, this is totally fine for a three cycle. It's actually pretty perfect if we get it very low here, but don't completely kill it. Yeah, that's great. Okay, cool. Okay, preference is he spawns right in front of me here. Be pretty nice. And he doesn't. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay. It's really, really close though. It's really, really close though. Whew, 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. We can definitely do it though, which is great. Um, yeah, that was some good gaming. That was some really good gaming. Five mil actually, not bad. 40k taco, good. Anything else good? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, okay, here's my thinking with this. Like, you guys would agree. We're like, we're right there, right? We just, we need like a tiny bit more juice. We could go on Wednesday, right? I could do penguins on Wednesday for 74 arc. We could do City of Seniston. We'd get the Vigor passive and Anime Dead and Incite Fear. Unbelievably, a heart rate of 158 isn't even in my top three highest heart rates while playing RuneScape. But unfortunately, it looks like pizza time is just a little too sketchy to get done with our current setup. Which isn't the end of the world. I think failure was definitely an option, and the fact that I'm able to come away with my life intact and without losing anything real on the hardcore other than some time is fantastic. Especially considering we also gained a lot of knowledge. We are so close. If I can even squeeze out 5% more damage on that phase, it should be extremely consistent. Incite fear and being able to use Tsunami as basically an extra threshold will help an absolute ton. So would getting some better perks, because although I unlocked Invention, we haven't really done a whole lot of perking yet. My level is just too low. Between those upgrades and the practice and experience that I now have, I'm feeling pretty good about getting this Zuck Cape done in the next video.